What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as Austria-Hungary. This is the Great War mod. Last episode we were almost completely finished with bottling up these British soldiers over here. Uh, I do think it makes sense to go ahead and micro these guys to move forward like this. We, uh, meanwhile, we've got everybody else sort of spread out across the lines, right? And that's a no-brainer, taking this uh, supply line away from the British, effectively trapping all of these divisions in that pocket, which is going to be really, really good to see. Uh, everyone else has sort of been bottled up over here. Uh, we're sort of light on this line, so just playing defense over here for now. Uh, these guys, I could tell you what, let's go ahead and actually, whoops... Let's use the tool here, okay, to move around the line. And we're going to stack up on that province so they can't break out against us. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Down to 1.1 million men in manpower now. Also working on filling out our new production lines here. So I think, you know, this infantry equipment production... Oh, interestingly enough, we have produced out enough to eliminate that total need. Let's go ahead and unpause it here. Oh, never mind. So we're going to work on upgrade needs after this, right? So I'm going to boost, I will boost that, the rest of this up to uh, help speed up the upgrades of that infantry equipment. And as we look over here now, I need to tell these guys to join into the fight and help overrun this British tank division. Nice. So he's gone now. So these divisions can now reassign back over here. Uh, let's move into this city here. Baghdad, of course. <clears throat> they are pulling back and trying to contract, of course, because I have taken this naval base now, and so their organization is going to be hurting going forward. So that's good to see. Um, tell you what, pink group now. Oh, nice. Meteor class of destroyers is finished, so let's go ahead and switch production over to that level 4 there. Just to keep up with that that latest and greatest. These slots here I'm going to use to upgrade other naval techs. Oh nice, the new artillery is done as well. Um, what's the one we're building? The battle cruisers here. Dreadnoughts. Okay. Let's get that new battle cruiser tech up and going. And then for the other one... Let's double check artillery really quickly because I do want to get this one to upgrade those uh, those current light artillery, lighter artillery units there. The heavy artillery, we're, we're going to go ahead and replace with this production like this. So those nice new heavy artilleries are going to start rolling out for us. We're missing some, after doing so, we're missing some resources. So we're missing a lot of tungsten, right? Let's buy some more from Spain here. Very good. And that's going to at least fill up the resource need there, which is great. Back up this way now. Okay, still working on upgrading new equipment. Okay, new research slot here, and we're about to get another new one. Mm-hmm. Looking good over this way. It is 1922, January. So still a really long time on this infantry stuff here. This one is going to take forever, so we don't want to do that. How about from electronics? Okay, he's finishing up. Submarine effort is done. So I guess we could plug another one of these into the... Okay, improved engineering drawing is finished. Let's go ahead and get this one next, and then... Yeah. Let's get the improved reciprocating engine there. Nice. All right. All right. These guys are collapsing like crazy, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. So, a lot of these guys moving in in support of this attack now as we completely surround them, which is great. Uh, still looking a little light on this line over here. Oh, what's this? German Empire has invaded Greece from the south. So, they've finally taken to, decided to take measures into their own hands there. Still have some invasions up here that they're dealing with, but no problems that I foresee. Oh yeah, this pocket here. Uh, let's go ahead and move in. 
18, throwing everybody at them now. They are dug in like crazy, aren't they? Bulgarian Division's now moving southwards to try to help me, which is pretty cool. Uh, Alright, these guys now showing in a green 99. Perfect. Alright, so this light pink group, I'm going to actually assign you guys to do something different now. And I think we have to decide between starting to invade Cyprus and Crete over here and potentially helping out in Libya. That might be a good choice, although we don't have a lot of infrastructure over there, so those divisions that are already placed over there are experiencing a ton of attrition. Hmm. What could we use you guys for? Invading the Ukraine, potentially? Might be cool. Invading Amsterdam? Maybe. Hmm. Is Oman in the war right now? No. Oh, they're part of the Entente. So Oman is in the war. Interesting. Let's make sure they're showing up. Yes, they are. So I tell you what, we could take Emirate of Nejid here. What if I got military access from you? Nope. You know what a better idea is? Okay. Okay. Let's think about this. Yellow groups are coming in in support over here. They have 22. So they've got five on the way. They've got a bunch on the way. So let's make sure everybody's assigned to yellow groups uh, front line here. So that's the new front line and all of yellow group. Come on over. 22 divisions now assigned there, so that's good. Pink group, you can post up where you're at for now. This uh, smaller group here of 12 divisions, we're gonna mount, let's see, naval invasion order from here to here. And I may be forgetting the fact that we don't have any ships over here, so we can't actually do that. So that makes sense. So that means the next step is to go to Nedget over here and improve relations until we can get military access from those guys. So while we're working on that, let's go ahead and pause because we do need to get the new national focus up and running. So let's get that. Destroy your effort. We'll go there next. Um, free civilian factories again. Hmm. Do we have the no, the new fighters up and running? No, not quite. Could go for early bomber twos. Produce those out next, or even light tank divisions, which would be cool. Light tank twos. Um. Hmm. Lots to decide on. So, all right, this group here. Your job is actually going to be to mount a naval invasion over this way here in Caligri. And in order to do that, you're going to need to go something like this from here to here. So 12 divisions now in the Middle East. Let's bring you back over. Not a valid province for invasion. Interesting. Is Italy out of the war then? No, they're still fighting against the Central Powers. That may be because we do need to add our new Navy over here. That's probably the issue. Okay. So let's unpause it. So 12 divisions then. You guys start making your way over here to prep for the invasions of the Mediterranean. 20 ships showing over here now. And we do need to assign a new Admiral. So we'll get this guy in there. Your job, of course, is going to be Convoy Escort for the this area here. Okay, so now, after they've been assigned, we can assign, at least that's showing as green now. Cool. So that little group of 12 divisions is going to be my Mediterranean invasion force. Um, let's continue moving them over here, though. So they're going to strategically re redeploy back over. Pink group is sitting over here now, um, and it does make sense for pink group to 
say, all right, you know what? We're going to extend your front line like this. So that should boost up and help with that attrition that we're seeing. Awesome. Now, there's nothing really preventing the British from invading back up this way again, is there? He's authoritarian. He's not part of a faction either. Let's go back over here to Nejid. Uh, ask for military access. Okay, so we are improving relations there to try to work on that. We do need to uh, get some new projects going as well. So let's continue building out military factories, right? All right, cool. And then we could probably use... Well, my, my production, my naval production is actually full at the moment. So we have posted up this guy over here. We're going to wait till he arrives to do anything with him. All right, that's fine. They are now moving, and are they getting on the boats? No, thank God. Okay, good. We've also got light blue group over here that we need to do something with. Hmm. Does it make sense to bring them back down here into Africa? Try to stamp out Italy here from Northern Africa. We could also go for France. Someone mentioned, you know, you should invade their uh, naval, their, uh, excuse me, their colonial areas to make them fully capitulate, and I like that idea. So, yeah, Light Blue Group, you're going to be now assigned down here to Africa. Like that. Okay, so they're going to move in and go on the way there. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can't get a couple of these divisions to move from here to here two divisions assigned, so we'll see if our allies have naval superiority there. I doubt we do. We could use these ships there, these new ships that are available, this small third fleet that we've now created. It's only four destroyers, I guess. Yeah. Let's give you a new admiral, and your job is going to be to convoy escort down here. All right. 22 divisions here now. Let's mount another attack. That's not going to go well. So, pink group then. Alright, I'm going to let you guys sort of... Yeah, I'm going to let you guys continue planning out this naval invasion. And then over here... Can we micro anything? Seven. Yes. Let's mount an attack here from the north. Like this. These eight divisions can be thrown in as well. These two divisions can help from this side. So attacking from three sides now, and that's still not going to be enough, is it? All right, now we need to figure out if we want fighter stuff. Tactical bomber agility, strategic bombing, ground support. All of this stuff is very important. So let's get that next. Out, showing at a red 35 there now. That's not the place we want to attack, obviously. We're still outnumbered over here, though. Interesting. So that's fine for now. Um, let's tell those two divisions to get on the boats. They're going to go ahead for the invasion of Cyprus. So two infantry divisions. Let's see how they do. Make it over there, boys. Make it over. Go, 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 go. All right, they're in. Looks like they haven't hit any resistance. They have not, so that's good. So we're going to give that back to the Ottomans, which is fantastic. Next is going to be Crete, I think. All right, sweet. All right, you two uh, mount a naval invasion from here over to here. Okay. So he's got to plan that one out. So taking those small little islands a little by little there. Damn, and this attack failed miserably, didn't it? Yes, it did. Okay, Light Blue Group should have arrived now and is in place. So, we need to help try to get some more space along the line here. And I think a good way to do that is by going like this. To try to get some additional supply through here. Yeah, I knew this could have been a bad idea. 
Let's attack up the coast here this way. New military factories available, of course. Of course, of course. So, um... We could open up another heavy artillery line. That may be good. Let's do that. Heavy artillery. The air stuff hasn't really come into play yet in the in the overall war. It's just not time yet. It's just not that time yet in history, I guess. There we go. Three new factories building out that heavy siege artillery. All right, we got the new engine, so let's grab the new tank track there. Another national focus needed. Naval gun effort three will start on you. Got a bunch of civilian factories that still need use. Uh, we do need some more tungsten, so let's trade for that out of Spain. Nice. Okay. Still showing at over a million men for now, so that's good. These two divisions are ready to make a move there. Athens still stands, which is kind of nuts, to be honest. Malta will probably be next. Okay. These 12 divisions have made it over now. We need to assign you like this. Okay, so part of the problem is my tech. Um, thought we had done this. Thought we had looked at this. So, way back over here, you can invade with how many? 10. Over here, which is a very far away, that moves up to 40. So, submarine one is done. Uh, so, that means let's um, only assign 10 of these divisions to the invasion. Like this. Perfect. So they're going to start planning that out. And he's actually ready. He's saying he's ready. Let's go. So ten new divisions there heading down towards Caligri. And ten versus five. We're going to show as a red there off right off the bat. That sucks. Uh, we may want to... Huh, we could try to invade Corsica over here first. That's worth one victory point for France. Back down this way now. Uh, this attack has stalled out there in the north, unfortunately. These guys are unable to get supply whatsoever. Ugh. What about these five mounting an attack like that? That should work out pretty nicely. Alright, 1930 before we can get the World War II level stuff. Okay, land doctrine wise, we're good there. Armor-wise, we're good. How about an Air Doctrine? Working on those. <clears throat> Man, we're coming close to filling up everything available, aren't we? I guess we could work on the Dreadnought tech. Actually, let's go for the sub tech there. Okay. Cool. Free civilian factories yet again, guys. Um... And you know what? I think I may want to make a change here. I just realized this. We've got the heavy artillery showing here, right? Let's put in some basic artillery, like this. Remove that. So still showing a combat width of 21 there. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to change... Remove this and put in... Oh, it's only support artillery? Fuck. We could go for a military police there. Let's go with the heavy artillery, too. Alright, I think that looks good. Combat width of 24, but that's alright, I think. Um, so, production-wise... Yeah, that does move up our early, our early artillery production need quite a bit, doesn't it? Alright, so... Let's open up some new early artillery lines here. Like this. Okay, so continuing to move them up. You guys know I'm anal about this if you watch me. Alright, we'll go like that. So this is going to be the new set of needs there. Um, so let's convert. Let's continue converting civilian factories over. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. One, two. Okay. Let's do that for now. 
that's going to that's going to reduce my civilian factories quite a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Let's cancel some of these actually because we're going to need to make sure we have the appropriate civilian factories in order to trade for new resources. So I, I want to be careful about that. So let's fill up some new projects over here, especially in Florence. Okay, that'll keep them busy for a while. All right, uh, that little invasion was unsuccessful, wasn't it? So let's go ahead and delete that out. 10 divisions now, you're still gonna be assigned or actually, let's only take eight. Whoops. Can we, um, how to do this, how to do this. Okay, let's actually unassign all of these like that. And 10 divisions give you this general back. See if I can give you a light brownish color again. There we go. Okay, so he uh, you're going to go something like this because we've got a land bridge down there. So if that if that invasion is more successful, you know, we'll go with that. All right. We did make it over to Crete here as well. Ooh, we need some additional guys, don't we? So 22 divisions. Let's take uh, one, two, three divisions now. And I'm going to move you to this dockyard. So that'll bring us up to five. We will over outnumber the Japanese that currently occupy Crete here. Keep going, boys. Keep going. And your goal is going to be to reinforce over here so we can take the island. All right. They're about to make it. It is June of 1922 now. And we will send you like that. Perfect. Awesome, guys. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.